<clears throat> Bakora Precision. Quran says once a city is destroyed, it is never revived. Well, that's a little too absolutist because we know many cities that have been destroyed that have been revived. But I get the I get the concept. I, I understand. It's probably referring specifically to cities that were destroyed and buried. But but you're right. Some cities are destroyed and they never buy. But Jericho has 17 levels of occupation. Most of them were total destructions and the people rebuilt on top of it. A lot of people post these pictures uh, in the mud flood circles. There's nothing unusual about that though. Many European and American cities have been totally mudded out and, and when rivers change from earthquakes, rivers changing their directions and in three weeks, buildings were absolutely packed full of mud totally abandoned and then six weeks later everything was dried and they just take the rubble and they make a whole new foundation lay more cement on top of that and build a whole new city right over the, the ruins of the old this happened to many american cities but it wasn't really the supernatural reset people are thinking it's it's actually quite common so especially in greek and roman cities they were getting destroyed by earthquakes all the time and they just built on top of the rubble this is why archaeologists find so many interesting things because when cities are destroyed by earthquakes all those daily kitchen items all the tools of the trade all the all the little treasures people had the money the coins the art it's still there. It's preserved. That's why archaeologists love to, to go to, to find ancient cities because they already know prior levels of occupation were buried alive and those people died down there and they just built on top of them. Very common. Very common. 